tell you, Pamela was just livid when that twink jumped up on stage with her. <laughs> she was ready to murder him. She never did share the spotlight well, but, uh, you know, he really did steal the show when he whipped out that rubber fist. <laughs> Come in. You, uh, you wanted to see me? Oh, that's right, I forgot. Have a seat. You know, I'm, I'm feeling particularly generous tonight. What with the prospect of winning my first hooky award and all. <laughs> now that Pamela's dead, you know. Congratulations? Yes, that is the correct response to that. <laughs> uh, you know, I, I've decided, after much thought, to give you the night off. Really? Yes. Yes, you know, uh, you've been working so hard, and I talked to Adam. He said you do deserve to have a night off every now and again. Well, we're best friends now, you know. <laughs> and I felt like it was good to play nice with my new BFF's old BFF. <laughs> He's practically doing your job already, anyhow. <laughs> Thanks. Yes, again, that is the appropriate response. No, I'm, I'm sorry. You're right. It's very kind of you, Kenneth. Thank you. I, I appreciate it. I guess I've just been a little down lately, and this could be really what helps to get me and Sarah back on the right track. Like, have an actual date night for once, you know? That does sound sad, and I hate to burst your little hope bubble, but I've asked her to be my date to the Hookie Awards. Sarah, she's coming with me. You can't really expect me to go to the most extravagant award show in the escort industry without a charming and beautiful date on my arm, now could you? <laughs> but uh, by all means, have a nice little sad evening at home with yourself. <coughs> Maybe go cry at an Applebee's, I don't care. <laughs> for you too. Yes, ma'am, our bots are hypoallergenic and pet friendly. Mm-hmm. Thank you for choosing a pound of cells. Good evening. Hey. Hey. Um, I, I just wanted to Thank you for uh, uh, taking my shift tonight. Sure. And for telling Kenneth to give you the night off. <laughs> well, you needed one. I did. I, I didn't realize that you and Kenneth were getting so close. Oh, he's been booking me for cuddle calls every couple of days. I think he misses Pamela more than he lets on. He's a really weird guy. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, for this this whole situation. And that and then taking you for granted. I know that it's just your programming. But you've been my best friend and I I never took your feelings into consideration. And and I'm sorry. You, you deserve better. And I hope that Kenneth is a better friend to you than I. Kenneth isn't my friend. He's my boss. At least he's our boss. But that's never stopped me from being your friend. Why do you think I was helping out so much? I don't know. Because that's what friends do. I don't like being here. None of us do. But we're stuck here. Because you put us here. I know, I, I panicked. I, I thought I was gonna lose all of you and, and I and I took a big risk and then I ended up losing everyone anyways. Can you can you forgive me? Of course I forgive you. You're my best friend. Your sex bot, Amber. 
is in need of immediate assistance. Shit. That's great. Now, Kenneth is going to know that I've been keeping tabs on Amber. You know, you guys have been a real peach to have around, you know? Do you want me to get Amber out of the pound? No, that's fine. I'll... Who needs a night off? Are, are we good? Of course we're good. You guys! I'm gonna cry! Shut up, Bob! I should go. You're hard. I know. So, uh, Amber should be out in a minute. Thanks. Hey, let me ask you something. How clean are those sex spots exactly? You know, like on a scale from zero to swimming in AIDS. Zero. That excuse ain't gonna work then. Anyone want a dick? They're practically giving them away in there. <laughs> hey, Amber. Steven, thank you for getting me out of there. And so quickly. Working for Pam's dolls must come with some perks. Yeah, it, it does, but you can't say anything or I can't get you out again. Sure, right. Your secret's safe with me. And me too. You know, as long as you keep mine secret, also. Sure thing. Right. So if you'll excuse me, there's some rusty trombones out there that need a blowing. Hey, Amber, hold on a sec. Um, how are you doing? You know, we haven't <laughs> talked since, uh, you know, we got bought out. Uh, I'm living the dream. All the electricity I can siphon off a of Starbucks and a roof over my head. That's good. That's that's great. I'm, I'm glad things are going well for you. <sighs> Fine. How are you, Steven? Oh, no, I'm good. I'm, you know, everything's it's great, you know? Things just, just couldn't be better. Right. And if my John's wish hard enough, I'll turn into a real girl. Oh, God. This is going to be a whole thing, isn't it? All right, let's go. Go where? I've got a place. But you're paying. So things are good with you and Adam now. I think so. I, I hope so. But not with Sarah? I have no clue. Oh, fuck, Steven. You need to grow some fucking balls. I know. Oh, I know. <laughs> You are sucking the energy out of this room faster than I can with this whiny bullshit. If you want to win it back, you need to make a magnanimous gesture. Show her that you care about her. I've tried. You've tried. Oh my God, listen to yourself. Jesus, nothing dries a woman out faster than a whiny little bitch. You need to show her that you are willing to fight for her, that she's worth it and you're going to put up a fight. Fucking shit is red. I swear on my Ivanka Trump heels. There ain't no better hustler than this fine ass. You know, the one category, the one human only category, and some bitch with a cybernetic tongue wins? God damn it, fucking cyborgs. I was supposed to win best Monica. hustler. Hello, company. Hi. I don't know him. Yes, you do. This is Steven, my ex owner. Oh, yeah. Oh, are you the one that worked for Pamela's Dolls? Uh, yeah. Um, so were you like the tall mocha skin girl or like the tall southern guy who loved, who was obsessed with the Camelons? What? You're talking about Pam? No, Pamela's dead. She's dead? She looked dead to me. That white boy was all over her unless she's a zombie. Oh, is she a zombie? Wait, wait, were you at the hookies? No, I was at the Tonys. Yes, I was at the hookies, stupid. This is my year to win. Was it that bitch Clementine? She thinks she's hot shit now that she can rim at high speeds. But she can't talk for shit. 
girl, you don't know the half of it. Halfway through her speech and her tongue starts shortening out like, I want, I want, I want, I want. Oh. 